Hi, everyone. Welcome. It's a new week and a new month, and I wanted to start off this, uh, this month right. So I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and personal success strategist and business mentor at TotalGenius.net where I help people who are struggling with um, overthinking and a lot of genius ideas discover and position your value in your business so that you uh, are seen as the confident leader and make the money you deserve. So today I wanted to talk about how you can uh, communicate your value in one easy sentence. This is something that is something that uh, many people struggle with and usually are not prepared when they meet people. But in actuality, it's the one thing that will set you up as, uh, as being seen as a person that can help somebody, like if you meet your BBF, or it could just create uh, somebody who doesn't even want to pay attention to you. And that one sentence is your message. It's your business message so that, you know, people like to call it an elevator speech or, you know, when you go to a networking event. And online, as an online entrepreneur, you actually have to have a message also. You have to have your own uh, online elevator speech uh, and do it in an easy way. You know, people's attention is very limited. There's so much distraction going on. And if you don't immediately come out of the gates as being someone that they should pay attention to, someone that they see as status, so I'm not talking, you know, hi, I'm the Queen of England, but, you know, someone that they see as, um, as being important, in other words, someone that can help them, then you just lost them and now they're checking their, their Facebook feed. So this is so important that you nail this and you may want to rewatch this video, um, you know, just to, to build your own message. So this is, it's a very easy thing because it's one sentence, but it's kind of filled with a few complicated parts. So first of all, you know, as I said, you need to communicate your value. That means that you actually have to understand what your highest value is in your business. You know, how do other people see you and how do you see yourself? Those two things may be two totally different things and somewhere along the line they have to meet. It actually starts with you and your personal value. So I did a video on this. I posted it on my Facebook page today. You can find it at my YouTube channel about how to, how to communicate your value. And really, it's about how to understand it. So the things that I talked about in the video, I'm actually going to make you watch that video because it's, it's quite good. I think it's about 30 minutes. But if you don't understand your value, you'll, you're never going to create it into a, a one, one sentence um, message. So first, you have to understand your value. And that's you, based on you and what you understand as to be your highest um, strengths and what you want to be actually doing in your business. Then you need to understand who needs that help. You know, I call this person your BBF, ideal client, your best business friend. You know this person so well because they were, they're you now um, when you, before you discovered your solution. So your BBF, you understand so well, which is why you have this business based on your highest value, because you've been through the same challenging things that they have. This is going to be very important. That's why I'm explaining all this. This is all has to go into this one sentence. So you do what you do in your business. So for example, I'm a personal success strategist and business mentor. I help people with their business, obviously, and to find their unique personal success. The first part of your message, you know, after you know those critical pieces I just mentioned, is first of all your title. You know, what do you do? So, you know, I'm a business strategist, so I've, I come across a lot of people. 
you know, some people are like, you know, I'm, I'm the queen angel of um, goddess something. And that's great if you really understand that your BBF will understand what it is that you do from your title. Now, you don't have to have like some boring title, but just your title alone should be able to communicate the general category that you teach. I understand you're very different and, um, you know, what, what do they say? <laughs> like, you're the purple unicorn uh, and, and you are, but, you know, th we're talking about the one message that needs to be one sentence that people instantly get. So you may try to, uh, if, if, you're, if your title is a little way out there, you may try to simplify it a little bit. Then, you know, once you understand and they understand what your title is, then you need to, and I call this the thing behind the thing. So you need to tell people the problem that you solve. So like I help, you know, who do you help? So I help people who are struggling with a lot of genius ideas and overthinking. So that's kind of a thing behind the thing. You know, it's, it's not necessarily the um, big picture that's, uh, that, I, that I often say, or it's on my website, but it's the thing behind the thing, which is the basis of all my marketing and, and when I talk to people, because I understand as somebody who has a lot of ideas and struggle with overthinking, how difficult this problem is. So the second part of that for me is um, who struggle with an overflow of ideas and overthinking despite your years of experience and talent. So, you know, that is the thing behind my BBF's thing. It's the thing that makes them not be able to structure their business together because Despite all their talent and experience, they're still drowning in doubt and can't um, position all their ideas into a profit-generating business. So what is your thing behind the thing that your BBFs are struggling with? What do you know so well that is painful because you couldn't figure out your problem? Okay, so you have to describe the problem. The next thing is, you know, uh, how do you solve that problem? What is it that you actually do in your business that they would go, that's what I need after you describe the problem? So for example, so I help people who are struggling with a lot of genius ideas and overthinking despite your years of experience, discover and position your value into your business. So it's kind of a, um, a play on words because they didn't actually realize that they were struggling with their value. But when I say it, it's kind of like, uh, and it catches their attention. It distinguish, distinguishes me from other people who are just business coaches because I've hit a target, not for everyone who needs a business, but for specific people who struggle with knowing their value and being able to position it and then speak it into their business. What is your problem that you solve that's so different in the way that you solve it that instantly the people that were struggling with your problems that, you know, we just figured out would go, oh, wow, she gets me. I get it now. So you need to understand that. And then you say, so that, so, you know, this is, this should be a common thread in everybody's message. There should always be, you know, you, you have the problem, you have how you solve it. And then so that, which is really what they're buying, the end result. So for my, mine is so that you can be seen as a, the confident leader and finally make the money you deserve. So, you know. Money is something that's very important to people who want a business, <laughs> clearly. And, you know, again, like the hidden thing, they didn't actually realize that they needed to or that they wanted in their business. The result is that they want to be seen 
as someone of high value who is the confident leader of their business. So when you put it all together, it makes one easy sentence that if you were in an elevator, it would take less than, you know, seven seconds to say. Hi, I'm Shauna Yao. I'm a personal, uh, personal success strategist and business mentor, and I help people with an overflow of ideas and who struggle with overthinking, despite your years of experience and, uh, and talent, discover and position your value and put it in your business so that you are seen as the confident leader and finally make the money you deserve. So, you know, key things in there is that, number one, it's one sentence. It says everything. It says everything that would catch your ideal client's attention. It says everything that you need to get out in order for them to want to go to your website. It says everything that they need to know if you are a a person of importance to them or you're not. You either get them or they either get you or they don't. And so, you know, the final thing I'm going to say is we're not designed as humans to like everyone, to get everyone, and to want to learn and buy from everyone. You know, if you, if you put it, you know, I was a shopping center retail marketing director for 25 years. So if you put it into just the terms of like a non-human, you know, I'm sure if you go to a mall, there are stores you never walk in. I never walk in Nike. I think they're crappy shoes. I never walk in, um, you know, I'm th- trying to think of the stores across the street. I rarely walk in Banana. They don't get me. I'm always in Zara. They totally get me. <laughs> Notice the fur vest. And so, you know, just like a retail store and how you have likes, Uh, and dislikes, you as the business owner need to understand that when you stand in your value with your message that may, you know, seem a little opinionated, that's okay. Because then the right people can hear you. Otherwise, you know, the people that you're not meant to talk to uh, may try to learn from you and, and that's not your ideal client. So they may, you may talk to them and they, they say, oh, you know, I need a life coach. And then they, you tell them their, your price and they go, oh, you know, I can't really afford that. Do you have something or can we, you know, uh, um, can, can I offer you this? Or, you know, wow, I, you know, maybe next year. <laughs> and you just spent like all this time on them. You can solve that by having conviction in your own personal value. You can solve that by standing in your value, which means speaking your mind, understanding that you're going to have to turn people away in order to attract people closer. And then, you know, I like to say head down, genius out. Rather than trying to hold on to, you know, as many people as possible who may not be your ideal clients, but just because, you know, you need that attention or the, the feeling, you know, I need a like, that's not who you serve. When you understand your personal value and you stand in it, that means that you're willing to stand alone. You're willing to stand alone so that the right people can hear you and then they come towards you. You know, this is something that I I try to stick with my clients even when they're done with me because I know it's very scary to stand alone. It's very scary to stand alone and think that you're going to reject people. It's it's a human condition that we want to connect. It's just the way our brains are wired. You know, we're we're, we're powered by our fear brain. And that fear brain um, was to protect us when we were cavemen. And, you know, if we didn't get accepted by the tribe... Um, you know, we got thrown out and to be eaten by saber toothed tigers, but now, you know, there are no saber toothed tigers and you're a business owner and you're human with a life, which means that you're going to have to make some, um, decisions 
And those decisions as you get older and older and, you know, as your business goes on should be becoming more specific in what you like so that you can surround yourself with people that get you, build the life that you truly want and deserve, and not have to prove yourself to anybody. You know, this is why I help people discover their genius. You know, I, I, I define genius as a combination of expertise and life experience because when you can find value and believe in your past experience, you can find your reason for living, which helps you, you know, on days, everybody has, everybody has days that, you, you know, you, you, you feel like, I can't take it anymore, you know, oh, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to get online or I don't want to, you know, be a confident leader. But I was telling one of my position to sell clients last night, you know, um, we, 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 we positioned her business and we found her positioning and I was telling her, you know, um, when, when you don't have the personal motivation to get up every day, the way that we positioned your business and found um, your thing behind the thing gives you a reason to give up every day. I mean, to give, to get up every day and to keep going because you believe in, when you don't, when you can't find the belief in yourself, you believe in your mission, which I think is the most powerful thing that you can discover with or without a business. When you can find meaning in your past experience, you can do anything. You, you had your challenges and overcame them for a reason. Now it's your job to position it in your business and get paid for it. So I hope that that's helped you. You know, I, I recommend you, you re-watch this video and create your genius message. Come post it in my group at the Genius Collective and um, watch the video that's on my YouTube channel about your value because I'm telling you, those things will help you seed in the value inside of you so that you can feel like the confident leader you are. So I hope that's helped you. You know, check out my resources. Um, I'm about to launch something, uh, a new training. Um, and, you know, what I specialize in is to help you discover your value, position it into a business that sells and makes money and builds you as you build your business. You know, having a business and making money is one thing. Having your personal freedom here is what true success is all about. So anyway, come join me at the Genius Collective and I'll see you guys later.